In this demo, we are going to explore some of the security features of Google Workspace for Education Standard and Plus, which can help you prevent and investigate abuse and inappropriate material. Before getting started, please review the checklist in the Resources section for some basic steps you can take to address security and privacy across your domain. In order to prevent abuse, let's first make sure that all of the security and privacy settings in the Admin Console are set the way you want them to be, and ideally, in accordance with best practices. To do that, navigate to Security Health from the Admin Console homepage by going to Security, Security Health. The Security Health page, available to Google Workspace for Education Standard and PLUS administrators, provides a comprehensive overview of the security posture of your Google Workspace environment and allows you to compare your configurations against recommendations from Google to proactively protect your organization. On the left side, you'll see the name of the policy, which you can click in order to edit the policy settings. In the middle, you'll see the status of the policy, how it's configured, and for whom. And on the right-hand side, you'll see one of two icons. A green check mark indicates the configuration is aligned with Google's recommendation. A gray icon indicates a recommendation to explore. You can click the link to learn more about the recommendation and the options that are available for that particular policy. The goal is not to get all green check marks. And while you don't need to check this page frequently, we recommend that you review these settings at least every few months to ensure that they're aligned with your organization's needs. Next, let's discuss trust rules for Google Drive which will be available to Google Workspace for Education Plus customers in beta later in 2021. Trust rules give admins more control over how files can be shared, both within and outside of their organization. For example, you could set a policy that prevents certain students from sharing files with or receiving shared files from other students. To apply for the beta when it's available, see the link in the Resources section. Next, let's take a look at the Security Dashboard by going to Security, Dashboard. As an administrator, you can use the Security Dashboard to see an overview of different security reports, including file sharing, OAuth grants, and more. For example, if you've set up data loss prevention or DLP rules, you can look at the Top Policy Incidents Report in more detail. Let's take a look at 30 days worth of data There are a number of files detected with credit card information. To investigate this further, you can launch an investigation in the Investigation tool that pulls all the key fields from the Security Dashboard report. The benefit of coming from the Dashboard is that it saves time and effort by filling out all the necessary search conditions automatically. In this case, it selected Rule Log Events as the data source, a date range, and a number of other conditions. The search has already run and shows all of the files that DLP has taken action on in the last 30 days. To take a deeper look at these files, you can pivot your search on the Resource ID column using Drive Log Events Document ID. A second search is created with the Drive Log Events data source and the Document ID condition with all the file IDs added. Running the search, you can see all the files that DLP took action on in the last 30 days, including additional details about the document type, owner, and more. Going a step further, you could take a look at any of these files by selecting one or more files, clicking on Action, Add Users, entering a justification for why you want to view the file, adding yourself or any other user to the file, and confirming the action. Once added, the file would show up in Google Drive under My Drive Shared With Me. For more information on the many ways you can use the investigation tool and dashboard, see the links in the resource section.